of course, save my mind, and you don't die. Give as you receive, and if your release is Satan. This is the part 275 in the series Christ Forgiveness How to Manifest Immortality Season 2. And the name of this teaching is The War Against Yourself, an introduction. Do you not see the opposite of failed and weakness is sinlessness? Innocence is strength, and nothing else, and nothing else is strong. The sinless cannot fear, for sin of any kind is weakness. The soul of strength attack would use to cover fate, he conceals it not, for how can the unreal be hidden? No one is strong who has an enemy, and no one can attack unless he thinks he has. Belief in enemies is therefore the belief in weakness, and what is weak is not the will of God. Being opposed to it, it is God's enemy, and God is feared as an opposing will. How strange indeed becomes this war against yourself. You will believe that everything you use for sin can hurt you and become your enemy. And you will fight against it and try to weaken it because of this and you will think that you succeeded and attack again. It is as certain you will fear what you attack as it is sure that you will love what you perceive as sinless. He walks in peace, who travels sinlessly, sinlessly along the way love shows him, for love walks with him there, protecting him from fear. And he will see only the sinless, who cannot attack. Walk you in glory with your head held high, and fear no evil. The innocent are, the innocent are safe because they say the innocence. Nothing they see is harmful, for their awareness of the truth releasing, releases everything from the illusion of harmfulness. And what seemed harmful now starts shining in the innocence, released from sin and fear, and happily returned to love. They share the strength of love because they looked on innocence, and every error disappeared because they saw it not. Who looks for glory finds it where it is. Where could it be but in the innocent? Let not the little interferers pull you to littleness. There can be no attraction of guilt in innocence. Think what a happy world you walk with truth beside you. Do not give up this world of freedom for a little sigh of seeming sin, nor for a tiny staring of guilt's attraction. Would you, for all these meaningless distractions, lay heaven aside? Your destiny and purpose are far beyond them in the clean place where littleness does not exist. Your purpose is at variance with littleness of any kind, and so it is at variance with sin. Let us not let littleness lead God's Son into temptation. His glory is beyond it, miserless and timeless as eternity. Do not let time intrude upon your side of Him. Leave Him not frightened and alone in His temptation, but help Him rise above it and perceive the light of which He is a part. Your innocence will light the way to his, and so is yours protected and kept in your awareness. For who can know his glory and perceive the little and the weak about him? Who can walk trembling in a fearful world and realize that heaven's glory shines on him? Nothing around you but is part of you. Look on it lovingly and see the light of heaven in it. So will you come to understand all that is given you. In kind forgiveness will the gold sparkle and shine, and everything you, un you once thought sinful now will be reinterpreted as part of heaven. How beautiful it is to walk clean and redeemed and happy through a world in bitter need of the redemption that your innocence bestows upon it. What can you value more than this? For here is your salvation and your freedom.
and it must be complete if you would recognize it. <laughs>